Hello everyone and welcome to the actual first episode of my Paris Dakar Rally gameplay Even though, you know, this time it's not Paris Dakar Rally, but it's Dakar uh, El Cairo uh, I do not know how to pronounce it in English, sorry Yeah, it's the... the I think it's the capital city of Egypt Right now, um, I think it is the capital city of Egypt So yeah, okay, let's see our, you know, the bikes BMW 900 RR, the, the twin one the, You know, the one with the, with two cylinders I think it was the bike that eventually won the race But I'm not going to use it Then we have the single cylinder one, the 650 RR Honda 400XR, you know, quite the veteran Yamaha YZ426F I think... I'm not entirely sure if somebody actually used a Yamaha in the, in the 2000 rally I mean, I mean, uh, some kind of factory effort. Same goes for the next couple of bikes. The Husqvarna TC610 and the Kawasaki K K K uh, sorry, KLR650. You know, these two bikes, I'm not entirely sure somebody used them back in the year 2000. I could be wrong. Then there's, you know, the other, the other main bike, the KTM660 Rally. I think that is either Heinz Kini Garner or um, Fabrizio Meoni's number. You know, the jacket, I think it's either one of them. I'm not entirely sure. So yeah, we, uh, you know, there are a few bikes to choose from and I'm going to choose the KTM. Also, yeah, you can change the, the, call, the, the delivery of almost every vehicle. They are all very, very, very weird. Like, you know, yeah, what the fuck world way thing, I mean, yeah. They could have, you know, invented themselves, you know, some kind of teams, you know, to, to fill it up, but no, they didn't, they, they just went, they did it, uh, they did something very fucking weird. So yeah, we are in Saloum, uh, it's the 6th of January of the year 2000, uh, we are in Senegal, and I'm going to set up the bike, and I'm going to use the exact same setup for all the, the, uh, the stages, because I think it's a better one. So yeah, let's start the great adventure, the, Dak the Dakar Rally. I'm going to speed up, the, you know, the loading times. Well, I'm going to start uh, to speed uh, speed them up at first. Then I'm going to basically cut them. You know, I'm, this is extremely, extremely long. It is one of the worst things of the game. But in the emulator, you can speed it up, like I'm going to do. See, Three, much better. Two, one, go. Okay, let's start the Valida Rally. I mean, in the game, it's fairly short. It's only like 300 kilometers. In real life, just the special stages would be like 5,000 kilometers. I, I'm, all, I'm already losing, but you know, it's only because I'm on a motorbike. And in this game, motorbikes are very bad in a straight line. But you know, when it comes to the turns, I know I, I, am, I can win. I'm going to suffer for a bunch of stages, but you know, I think I can win it overall. There I am already leaving. I do not know the numbers. I mean, I do not know if they represent cars or motorbikes. I mean, there is a theory, but you know, yeah, there are a lot of numbers. I think there are 400 entries in the game. Yeah, you're technically battling against 400 people. And it's a scratch, I mean, they, they are all racing together. You know, bikes, buggies, uh, cars, everything. Also, another very bad thing for motorbikes is slow uphills. Because, you know, it's rear wheel drive, you know, it's a motorbike after all. But yeah, I think I can win it. I mean, in order to unlock all the bikes, you know, with my profile, I had to, you know, to play the arcade mode, and the arcade mode is basically as hard as this one. So yeah, I'm supposed to be like, you know, suffering, but I think in the end, I should be able to win it. Okay, here comes one of the slow uphills, because you know, th there are a few of these jumps, and even worse than this. Don't know why, don't know who had the fucking idea. It is awful when it comes to cars, because yeah, you're going to blow them up, basically. And yeah, so far, you know, I'm fourth. Less than a second behind the leader. So yeah. 
the names are completely uh, fake, but they mix real names and real surnames. So yeah, you're bound to see some uh, somebody. I mean, maybe not here, but you know, you can find people in the in the in the standings, which you cannot really check. Up or down. But you can find people in the standings called Petera Peterancel, uh, Roma, Meoni, Saint, and, and all that. Serbia as well, as Lesser, I mean, they are all here. But you know, it's just not real. Even though, for example, you know, uh, I, am drive I'm, I am riding an actual real bike. Because, I mean, this is literally, uh, I think it's Haynes Kinigarmer's bike. Not entirely sure, I think it is. Ken Skinny Armor is the man behind uh, Wings for Life, you know, the, the spinal cord, uh, uh, spinal cord injury investigation group, in charity. So yeah, in these fir first couple of stages, yeah, I'm supposed to be like, you know, not awesome. Oh, that was bad. The controls are very fucking bad, but I know how to do how to use them, more or less. And it's very important, especially for example on these first stages, to not step on grass. Grass has no fucking grip in the game. So yeah, just try to like you know not fuck it up. And you know, since, since I'm on a bike, you know, the shortcuts, you know, the alternate routes that actually have a lot of corners can be good for me. Because I can compensate, you know, the, the amount of turns using, you know, my incredible uh, cornering speed. Also, yeah, for example, the notes are not exactly good. For example, that was a yellow turn and it should have been an orange one because it was fairly fucking tight. But yeah, it's gonna be like that. See, this is one of the parts where the bike struggles. And I'm leaving by 7 seconds somehow. And it looks like, you know, considering the, nine, the numbers, I might be ahead. Oh, it was a new stage record. That's good. So yeah, for example, you know, leaving, you know, over Dostal, Spiel, Moraes, Luce. Uh, yeah, I guess it's Luce. Holler and uh, Nikolai Polato Serbia, as you can see, you know, real surname, and Perez. But yeah, for example, you know, and when it comes to names, yeah, right now here the, the most, you know, the most, the one that ha that is, you know, the most known here, it's Serbia. But you know, the real driver here would be Josep Maria Serbia, or maybe he is. I think it was. His brother or his dad, I'm not entirely sure, you know, Salvador Serbia. But yeah, it's Serbia, it's a, it's a real surname of a, of a fairly important competitor back in the day. He was, he used to drive the second Slasher Boogie. There was the, one, the first one, with the, the main one that was driven by Jan Luis Slasher, former F1 driver. And then it was, there was uh, Jose Maria. And Jose Maria, I think he won even a bunch of stages and all that. Oh fuck, got it wrong? Okay. I might lose a bit of time here. Oh no, so far so good. Oh, I've won, I've won time, okay. I think it's because of the cars that are leading right now. I mean, considering the numbers, these are cars, not... Uh, uh, well, car car buggy, maybe. I don't know how it works, but yeah. I understand it's that. Also, yeah, it's very important, you know, to not use the camera angle that, that I was using, you know, when uphill. Come by. Okay, I'm starting to win, to get a lot of time ahead. So yeah, my cat is playing with the wires. That's not cool. And it's just very important to be very, very smooth and, you know, use 
as little movement as possible when it comes to turning and to make it, you know, as smooth as possible. Another big, big jump. Seriously, these are awful when it comes to the car. When it comes to the car, you basically have to stop. You have to stop, roll down, and then accelerate again. Unless you really know the jump, and then, you know, maybe you can... You know that you can jump it. But, you know, that's the weird thing here. Yeah, I think the cat, the cat is no longer under the PC. Well, under my desktop. My desk, I mean. So yeah, it's just, uh, yeah, the, the rally is just like this. I mean, this is one of the stages. I mean, the stages are totally changed. I don't know why she has that obsession now. Very fucking weird. Very fucking weird. Okay, so yeah, I'm leading by less than less than 12 seconds. So you know, leading. Serbia has jumped from like eighth or ninth to sixth. Yeah, I mean we are going to see the you know position changes. Differences are very very small right now. And you know the 2000 edition of the Dakar Rally was a weird one because yeah, for once you know, no Europe. It was all in Africa. They started from Dakar. There was no prologue, no easy stage to begin with. It was already like 200 kilometers of a special one, stage two. from day one. And then it was shortened by a lot because they had to air, uh, airlift everyone over, um, over Niger. And my dad is, is singing for some reason or yelling. I don't know. He's a fucking idiot. I hate him. So yeah, uh, stage 1D. So yeah, the, the final stage of the sorry, the final sector of the of the first stage. There are ten of them in the video game. There were a few more in the in real life. I think in real life there were like 12 or 13, and that was after the you know the airlift. Could have been 15 or 16. And I think I got the wrong I got to the the wrong place, but yeah. Should have studied the, the map a bit more. Yeah, this was not a very clever idea. As you can see, you know, the thing uh, next to the range, the number 06, 006, it's the amount of times I can actually, you know, revive myself when I crash. In this game, there are for when you're riding a motorbike or a quad bike, there are small crashes, and then there are you know crashes that are, that, that that ask the rider to be revived because the rider is knocked out. When the rider is knocked out, I use uh, you know one of the uh, I lose one of the wrenches. When do I replenish them? When I you know after the second stage, the fourth stage, the sixth one, and the eighth one. There is a navigator, navigation stage in the desert, you know, no trails, just desert, you know, just sand and rocks. Uh, you, you can use that stage for one of two things, either win time by completing the course in as little as possible, or to, uh, you know, to get uh, wrenches. It's, it can be very important to get as many wrenches as possible because, you know, yeah, this is just a stupid video, you know, to say uh, to say that you've ended. By the way, the number 18, that is either Esteve, and that's also, yeah. Number 3 is Meoni. Number 2 was Kini Garner. So yeah, I'm leading the rally by quite a lot, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, the first stage was very, very good for me. Okay, so yeah, next up it's going to be the stage at Tambacunda. So yeah, see you there. Bye bye.